In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export your logo as a transparent video that you can apply to other videos. OK, now this is my logo here. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and add this on the timeline. But before I do that, you want to make sure that you're you have your project settings set for this. So if I go over to a uh, file, I'm going to go over to project settings. This is where I'm going to be able to set uh, the aspect ratio, which is 16 by 9. This is your regular HD video that you're going to see on YouTube. And you also have your resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. And you have a fr your frame rate per second there. Let's go ahead and put 30 FPS. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, the reason you want to do this is that sometimes when you add your logo to the screen here, to the, to the uh, uh, track, Sometimes if you don't have project settings set, this is going to adopt the project settings of the logo. So if the logo is in HD in terms of the resolution, uh, your export is not going to be uh, is not going to be um, HD as well. OK, so what you want to do is make sure that you set those project settings to whatever project you want to uh, you're going to be applying this logo to. Now I'm going to go ahead and click drag and drop this logo on the timeline. There you go. Now we have our logo. Now, since the resolution for this was 1920 by 1080, you are going to see black uh, bars here. So this is essentially part of the screen. So if I was going to export this, you'd see the logo. You'd also see this uh, area here. OK, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and resize my logo. Let's say for my videos, I always want to see the logo somewhere on the left upper corner here. What, what I could do is I could click on the logo itself and I'm going to go ahead and use uh, these uh, anchor points here to adjust the logo. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this and I will put it right in this corner here. What I could do is I can use my keyboard arrows to move it around. So I'm using the right keyboard arrow and I'll do the same thing using the down uh, keyboard arrow. So let's make it a little smaller here, make it a little smaller. All right. Now that we have our logo here, next thing you want to do is determine how long you want it to be. So this is going to be the duration of uh, the video, right? So let's say, you know, I want the default uh, to be maybe five seconds, something like that, right? I'm going to go ahead and hit. Um, so once everything is good to go, go ahead and hit export up here, right? And I'm going to call this uh, logo video. Now, one of the cool things you can actually do is before I export, go ahead and add effects. If I go over to effects over here, uh, let's go ahead and do maybe video effects, right? Let's do maybe uh, let's look for the free ones. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, free. Let's see. What are some good ones? Let's do a glitch effect here, right? So this one actually looks pretty good. Look at that. OK, I'm going to click drag and drop this on top of my logo here. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, make a logo. Uh, trim it down to match the effect here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit export, and I'll go ahead and uh, let's change the name over here. I'm gonna go ahead and change the name, and I have my export location preset. And on the form right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click this drop down, and I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this web M uh, image uh, format here. So select that. Now, this allows you to export the alpha channel. The alpha channel is going to allow you to have a transparent background. So I'm going to enable the alpha channel and I'll go ahead and hit export. OK. Cool. All right. I'm going to open the folder so that I can look at that. Now, what I'm going to do here is go back to media. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything on these two tracks here. And I will just add a video here. Let's say I wanted to apply the logo to this video here. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's say I want to let's cut this video here and I will detach uh, the audio from this video and I'll go ahead and delete this video here. OK, now I'm going to go ahead and add my logo here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import media and I will navigate to my uh, I can actually click drag and drop this. I have it open on this other screen. I'll drop it in here. So this is our logo video, as you can see. And we can click drag and drop the video on here. Now you can see it on here. We have our logo here. So if I hit play, you can see that we have our logo with its animation here, which is really cool. Look at that. Now that is pretty much it when it comes to how you can export a transparent video of a logo with, you know, video effects on it and you can apply it to any video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.